Hi guys, and welcome to my liposuction vlog. So for anybody who is new here or is coming just because of the title, my name is Ashley, I'm 25 years old, I live in Canada, and for the past year, I have been rescheduling because of the <laughs> pandemic, my liposuction to my stomach, flanks, back, inner and outer thighs and I'm going to Seattle for it. And I'm done now, I'm from the future, so <laughs> hi. Just to answer a couple of things that might come up that may not have been super clear in the video, I went to Seattle because here where I live in Alberta, plastic surgeons are so expensive and so few and far between. Um, so just for the quality of the work and the price of the work, it made sense even with the price conversion for me to travel to the states and that included like making sense in the price hotel flights food ubers like it was still less to get all the areas done that i wanted to get done in the states than it was in canada um my mom and i are both fully vaccinated and able to travel we were both very safe wore masks all the time i paid for this myself obviously i'm 25 years old i'm an adult this is something very frivolous that i wanted to do and i also did pay for my mom to come i just actually just used points for flights and hotel room because she was coming to basically be my nurse and she was so helpful and it was like if i could say anything because i was getting frustrated trying to rebook this because of canceling flights and then people who were lined up to come but then having a 14-day quarantine period before vaccines came out like it was obviously difficult to take off that kind of time so it kept falling through and i was really considering going down there and just like staying at one of those care facilities for 24 hours after and then just like kind of nursing myself back to health at an airbnb or something and don't do that <laughs> have somebody with you because even though it's not like a searing pain literally just having somebody to like bring you pills or bring you jello or soup or something for like the two to three days afterwards truly life-changing <laughs> because you are not going to be in the mood to do anything except for sleep and pee again i will link my surgeon down below because i mean i'm a week now post-op and i think she did a great job and i will be doing a follow-up video this video just because i'm a week post-op doesn't have after pictures which i'm sorry for but um this is just the basically process of getting it done and healing and there will be an update video coming probably in a couple weeks once you know i can take off my garment from 24 hour wear and the swelling has gone down because that is something to be expected and now that i think i've covered almost everything i don't know leave any additional questions down below let's get into the vlog good morning it is what time is it 6 39 leaving in just under an hour to get my mom I have my anxious food, which is a <laughs> peanut butter and banana sandwich. I always used to have this before exams in university. Okay, we are going to Target, you guys. We just had a beer. I didn't, because I can't. But now we're going to Target. And look at how cute. How cute this place is. All right, we went to Target and we got food. Wow, look at the food. Isn't that exciting? Sorry, I just washed my hands. It is actually quite exciting. Clothes, there will be a haul, of course. And then, finally, <laughs> we are back here, ready to chill for a little bit. So here's the plan. We spent all day traveling, and then we spent all evening walking around, went to Pike's Pier. There was like a very fast shot of that. And we went to this little restaurant for an appetizer. My mom got a drink, I can't drink because I have surgery tomorrow um and then we went to Target <laughs> and spent like $200 and now we're here in time for the Bachelor in Paradise so we're gonna watch that and order some food and that's the plan my guy all right this is our hotel room cute we ordered some food making some popcorn then we're gonna go to bed I'm tired Good morning. It is the morning, you can't see me, I'm so sorry. Surgery day, and in attempt to not just be sitting in the room, doing nothing at all, uh, we're gonna go for a walk, go see, what are we gonna go see, the gum wall? We can go see the gum wall. 
go see the gum wall and maybe get maybe get some jello and stuff yeah. if we pass like a little grocery store or something but we've got 30 minutes and then we're gonna come back here grab all of my paperwork and meds and stuff and go to the hospital jello for after and leaving in five minutes i'm like i'm excited i'm not super anxious right now which i'm sure will change once i get there because you go in by yourself which is fine covid stuff my mom's gonna hang around she's got her phone and everything so she's just gonna kind of walk around the area we're back i will do an update in a little bit when it's not dark as shit and I've slept off more of the anesthesia but it went so good I'm not in pain I'm just tired and it feels like I did an insane workout hi it is the day after I'm sorry I didn't vlog much yesterday I was zapped like truly um so I'm in bed I've got my garment on that's not my garment yesterday let me give you the quick rundown um so in order to travel and to book this you have to get a novit negative covid test which i did and i was but i left it at the hotel <laughs> so i brought all of my paperwork all of my medication and then my poor mom had to go back to the hotel in an uber and then come back with it drop it off but it was fine got it in the end um they were so nice there i got in the room they had this lovely warm blanket and then i got my um the anesthesia iv thing put in without the anesthesia obviously because that was like an hour away and then i got marked up by dr lisa pretch she was super nice and super like like perfectionist with her photos which i love and that's literally i told her why i booked with her because her photos like you could she took them in a way where you can really see the difference and like the contours and everything and obsessed went into the room got put under woke up feeling exactly like i felt after my otoplasty in 2014 when i got my ears pinned back it was the kind of um anesthesia where you wake up and you're like shivery and cold and like you're just not all there yet so my mom came in they got me into a wheelchair once i had had a minute and got into the taxi they sent over like diapers and pads and stuff like that because you're leaking for the next like 24 48 hours and at least for the last it's been almost 24 like it's been pretty leaky i get to shower soon which is so exciting um, pain wise day one very little was able to get in and out of bed no problem walk around and that just says like the anesthesia and the pain meds are wearing off but I've also been taking all of the meds and there's a pain pill in there and that's been helpful day two today is definitely way more sore but it's not like a it's just like you did the longest, hardest workout of your life. Like, take the worst workout pain you've ever had and then multiply it by three. You know when it's hard to, like, go up and down stairs? My legs aren't so much the problem. It's more, like, in here because I got, like, there's a incision in my belly button. And then I think she said there's, like, two in here. Um she's gonna post a video on the instagram marking me up and explaining where all the incisions are so again their instagram is down below i've just been sleeping a lot and having jello just got a acai bowl and i'm gonna nap until i can shower oh and i kind of saw all the stuff that they took out when i was like all hazy she said she was gonna text me a picture and i am so excited i'm so excited the yellow stuff is the fat and then the red stuff isn't blood it's just the fluid that they pump in when they're performing the liposuction hello okay it is day two post-op and i've got my compression garment on i look so good 
I don't know if you'll be able to like see really. My ankles are so swollen. <laughs> Alright, so this is what we're at right now. Sorry, the lighting in here sucks. Okay, hi. It is day four, three post-op. And I'm very tired today because we were walking around a lot yesterday. But pain is a lot less today. Definitely feeling kind of back to normal, especially with my appetite. Um, and especially with sleeping. I'm not quite as drowsy through the day anymore. So today we are going to go and get our pre-traveling back to Canada COVID tests. And if I have energy after that, we're gonna go and see the Space Needle. I'm so glad that we went to the gum wall and that we went and did a little lap around Pike's Market and we did some stuff before, like the actual surgery, because I would've felt like such a piece of shit if I had like dragged my mom here and I was like, enjoy the hotel room, that's all you're doing. <laughs> like, at least with me, like obviously she can go and do stuff, but <sighs> she's being such a good nurse and she's been so helpful. And bruising is down and I'm trying to report everything that I can think of, but this is the first time I'm doing makeup. So I'm quite excited. Let's do some makeup. It's the day before we leave and don't mind anything because I haven't showered and I sweat a whole bunch last night, but Pain-wise, I'm just taking Tylenol right now. I've been weaning off of the Oxys and I'm down to like one a day. So hopefully I won't need one tomorrow when we're traveling so I can have my Ativan. Swelling is pretty much at its peak right now because the garment is the tightest it has been. And it's hot and it's uncomfy, but I get to shower soon and take it off for an hour. Here's the fit for today. It's literally the only thing that's kind of airy and would hide the garment. I'm also so bruised, like more than I thought. I don't remember if I said I thought that the bruising was going down. If I did, I revoke that. It is not, it is going up. Okay, back at the room did, come on. It was like 5,000 steps, okay? So I'm feeling a lot better. I don't know if I showed you guys the room, but this is where my mom has been sleeping because she very graciously gave me the bed. Makeup, medication area. Kitchen, very cute. And then the bedroom. I'm almost packed. This is my second garment here, just drying it. And yeah. Definitely bring puppy pee pads, for sure. And the bathroom. Overall, it's a cute place. This is the Oxford in Seattle. It's right by Pike Market. It's right by kind of everything. Like you can walk to anything. But oh my God, it's like they've never heard of double paned windows. It is literally all night like you're sleeping with windows open it is hot as fuck there's no ac and <laughs> the noise is just obscene last day going for breakfast we're going back for breakfast because i had to come back to the room to get an out of van i was having a we are leaving we have packed and cleaned and had an out of van oh my god i don't know what it was about going down for brunch it was travel day for sure but Holy shit, I was sitting in the restaurant and I just told her like, okay, I'm gonna go back and get an out of van because I'm having a minute and I feel much better. But there's something about like traveling while recovering, while wearing a garment that makes you feel like you can barely breathe that just like, my anxiety is like, no, mm -mm. no. Woo, are you excited? Did oh. you have fun in Seattle being my nurse? I did, I'm, yeah. a, good, I'm a good nurse sometimes. Yeah, you are a good nurse. But we have decided that we're coming back. And we actually got to see the sights. Yeah. Like we saw the gum wall and we saw a little bit of Pike Market. Yeah. Like a little bit. The very right. outsides. Right. We walked That's up true. many a hill. Oh, God. We yes. saw so many hills. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, Jack. I am back home. Yesterday was the longest travel day, and if you don't believe me, believe my lack of ankle. <laughs> like, I literally have no ankle. Oh, God. Ooh. So, yeah, we... Oh, my God, it was such a travel day. It was so much. We basically left the hotel at 11, and then we stood in line at Air Canada in the Seattle airport because there was no one there for like two hours. So we just stood there and then we went through security and that was fine. And then we had some food and got on the plane and then we had a three and a half hour layover and then finally got in. Baggage took like 45 minutes. All of this is typical travel shit. Nothing really to complain about, but like, oh my God, just all together and I, I just, oh, I'm so happy to be home. And look at Chicky. We are so happy to be home. I missed you. I missed you, my little booger. I missed you. Are you happy? Are you happy to be home? Are you happy to be home with you? Cooper was saying that he was just starting to, like, get out of the closet and just starting to, like, kind of come out around the house and I was like oh yes. yes you are going to be so comfy with your dad and you are going to be so comfy with your mom because now you have all of your people that you love too much <laughs> hi it's me again hopefully you enjoyed the video um I do want to mention a lot of things about food, about my relationship with weight, about why I did this, but I want to do that in another video where I also answer your guys' questions about liposuction. Ask away. <laughs> There's literally nothing too personal. I mean, I don't know if you have seen my other videos on here because I do think that this might bring in kind of a new audience just because I know before I went in, I was searching up a bunch of lipo stuff, but I talk about a lot of sex stuff on my channel. So truly like ask away. So that is it. There will be an update lipo video in a couple of weeks once I see, you know, real big progress outside of like my overall shape, which by the way, awesome. Um, and then if you guys want like behind the scenes of really just kind of recovery day to day and the diet and just healing in general, but also mixed in with more of my life stuff, I will be vlogging on my second channel, which is linked down below. And that is it. Leave your questions below. <laughs> okay, bye.